First of all, congratulations, Emporia State, for picking such a great and fine leader to recognize as one of your distinguished alumni. To General Nixon, I couldn't think of a more deserving individual to really be able to do that. I know that her life as a Hornet really kind of set her up for the leader that she was as she went through her career, both in her civilian life and what she did as a soldier and what she did more importantly as, a, as an individual and a family member for everybody else. Hello ma'am, it is Lieutenant Colonel Jen Tyler, MI Readiness Command. Congratulations on your honor that you are receiving. I remember meeting you, um, oh gosh, must have been about 2012 or 2013 when you came out to Phoenix, Arizona to uh, meet and greet with our battalion. And not only did you come out there to meet and greet with us, you went on a hike with us. We went on a five mile hike in the Arizona desert. It was such a treat to go on a hike with a general officer, which I've never done before and never have done since. But um, the soldiers and I appreciate that. Um, on, on another note, I want to thank you for the mentorship that you provided for me and the tough love. It made me um, a better officer. So thank you so much for that. And again, I wish you all the best. Anybody who knows you know that you're a no-nonsense firefighter. You work hard, you take care of people, and you do the things that need doing without having to be told or without anyone even hinting uh, at a need. You've always stepped up to the task and you've always done that job well, not only caring for the profession of arms, but caring for the soldiers and the people around you. I recall this one time when I was briefing her that I made a mistake in the briefing and as I started to correct it, it was the only time I ever saw her reveal her poker face and give a tell. The side of her mouth just started to lift up slightly as she got a little imperceptible grin and you could tell she already knew the information I was briefing her. She, she well versed well ahead of time and the question she asked me was only designed to determine whether I was going to tell her the truth or the hidden agenda that I had to support what I thought needed to happen versus what she thought the command needed to happen. Uh, as a general officer, she's, she's going to be challenged with these types of things, and um, she performed very well and quickly revealed not only her thoughts on where, the, where, where I needed to take my, um, my programs, um, but also where the Army Reserve needed to go as a whole uh, for the benefit of everyone, not just her division. My favorite memory of working with General Nixon had to be the night that we were late in the office. I was worried about my own family far away from where I'm at currently. And she came in and asked me, not about what I was doing that day, not about what I was looking forward to tomorrow, but more importantly, how was my daughter doing in her own class? How was my daughter doing on the softball field? How much did I miss my family? And so that really kind of struck home for me because here was a leader that had 8,000 soldiers spread across 26 countries uh, across 26 states, three continents, and she was more worried about me and my family and what that meant to me at the time than she was about any of those other things. And that really kind of struck home as the leader she was. What I remember about uh, General Nixon and, and serving under her um, was that she was very focused and very deliberate and everything had a special meaning, um, that we didn't do anything lightly. So as I was working with her, um, as a brigade DCO, like everything was uh, was urgent, and I had thought that she was very, very focused and impersonal when it came to um, the, the mission and, and the people. So fast forward, um, you know, a few months, and I found out that my dad unexpectedly passed away. Um, and when I traveled back to Houston to to be with my family, um, waiting for me there in my, my parents' house was a, a bouquet of flowers from General Nixon and the rest of the staff. And that's when I, I realized that it, it's not just about, to her, it's, it's not just about the, the mission. It's about the people supporting the mission. It's about the soldiers under her care. And, and she took that very seriously. And that's why she took the job so seriously. It's because she was so invested in the people that served with her and under her. I hope that you enjoy this evening and the accolades that will be set before you, know that you have not been forgotten in our organization, in our army. You will always be a soldier for life, for all of us, always engaged.